sets for some afternoon baseball in the series finale with the Rocky Mountain Vibes. Jackalopes could potentially pick up their first series win of the season. We're going to join this one with the Jackalopes already running away, up 11 to nothing. And it may have been a hot one out at Saplesia, but the guy on the mound for Junction, Evan Massey, was keeping the Vibes bats cold. He's going to get a strikeout here to keep the inning rolling. The Junction defense was standing up behind their guy on the mound. In this next play, you're going to see a good example of that. Massey forces a chopper on the ground. Fruit is Drew Sackett over at third, collects, fires to first to get the out. Despite a Rocky Mountain run coming in to score this inning, that would prove to be the lone run they would get in the inning. Jackalopes go on to cruise to the 13-4 win. Massey went on to toss seven innings, only allowing one run and six hits while striking out six. Jackalopes pick up their first series win of the year after taking four of six against the Vibes. And all of a sudden, after a disastrous first half of the season for Grand Junction, the Jackalopes, they're back in the top half of the Pioneer League second half standings, trailing the first place Boise Hawks, Missoula Paddleheads, Northern Colorado Owls, who the Jackalopes just battled for 11 games before this series with Rocky Mountain, the Yellow High Wheelers out of California, and then the Jackalopes in the fifth spot and lurking. The Jackalopes will be on the road for their next two series, first with the Ogden Raptors, who are actually outside of the top 10 on your screen, and have struggled in the second half with seven losses already. Then a series over in Colorado Springs against the Vibes again before finally returning up back to Junction and welcome in the High Wheelers for the only time this season. The Rockies also just wrapped their four-game series with the San Francisco Giants and it's four losses in a row for, in the books for Colorado, with the Giants taking them down again and potentially some more Rockies on their way out of town as the trade deadline approaches. We're going to have more on that tonight at 10, but for now, they'll do it for your look at sports. We'll be right back.